Hi there. You're the one that got in the accident? Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness they turned off the EKG. That beeping always drives me up the walls. Did the cops tell you anything about what happened? Typical. I figured not. Did the hospital staff say anything? Hmm. I suppose they wouldn't really know. Hmm? Oh. I'm a liaison from Worthington Bank. We're not actually a bank, of course. I mean, we are, but most of the banking is actually more of a front. What we actually are is a lot trickier to explain. What do you remember from the accident? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds about right. Do you remember anything you can't explain? Well, what I mean by that is, like, did you see lights or hear sounds or anything else that didn't belong? I ask because the driver of the other car claimed that when the collision happened, they saw an explosion of white fire through your windshield. Does that ring a bell? Well, I'll tell you. What I'm getting at is that an everyday person saw something strange that seemed to originate from you. And that's where I come in. I'm an investigator for Worthington. I track down strange unexplainable phenomena, and I bring them into the fold. <laughs> yes, them. The phenomena always come from someone. A person with... Mm, talents they can't explain. I could go so far as to say abilities that other people don't have. In your case, I assume, the white fire, which means you're one of us. There's not really a name for what we are, no. Not a consistent one, anyway. Some of the more sciencey people who work for Worthington use different terms. Advanced, enhanced, superpowered. <laughs> One of them calls us the future of humankind. I don't personally care much for flowery language, to be honest with you. The short version is that we are human beings with powers. One power, usually. I find us and bring us to Worthington Bank. Well, why do you think? Hmm, close enough. For our protection and the protection of the regular folks without powers. Our powers manifest randomly, and often without any sort of warning. We can be very dangerous to normal people. And normal people could be just as dangerous to us. Humans tend to be... Mm, naturally wired to be scared of what they don't understand. 
for most everyday folks, people like us, people with powers, can't be understood. This isn't a new phenomenon. People with powers have been around for centuries. Various organizations have sprung up every couple generations to keep us safe and keep the public from knowing too much. Worthington Bank has been that organization for the last 80-something years. I'm here to extend an offer to you. Come work for Worthington for a while. You don't have to stay forever. Just learn to control your power. Train with us until you're not a risk to yourself and everyone around you. We have a handful of people with power over fire in some way. They could probably help you. Most everyone is pretty nice. For the most part, we all have the same goal. Learn to control our powers and live as normal of a life as we can. Some of us stay on at Worthington to train others for a while. Some of us are like me, and we stick around because Worthington is better than the life we were living before that. my power? Is it not obvious? <laughs> I can manipulate memories, my friend. The other driver and the cops no longer remember anything about the white fire. Conveniently, they hadn't filled out their report yet, either. I recruit, but I also do a lot of damage control. Well, memories are interesting. They're like a long, jumbled chain. Undo one link, and you can lose a whole big section. Put in a few new links, and they won't remember that they ever lost anything. All I really needed to do was remove the link with the white fire, and add a single new link where the fire was a more normal color and originating from the engine rather than you. A simple fix, really, but it kept your secret and our existence safe. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Oh, you absolutely have a choice. I can't force you to come work for Worthington. I can strongly recommend it. But I won't do anything to your memories. That's against my code of conduct. And it's just plain rude. I work for an underground organization that hides superpowered people from everyone else. But that doesn't mean I use my superpower on those superpowered people. I have standards, you know. Well, I usually only manipulate the memories of other people when I have to protect the existence of people like us from the knowledge of the public. Otherwise, I don't really need to use my powers. No, I can't use my powers on people with Alzheimer's or dementia. Well, think of it like this. Memories are files stored in a computer. They're more like software. Data, or data, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. I don't particularly care. That software, or data, data is what 
I can manipulate and modify. Alzheimer's and dementia are hardware problems. I have no power over organic matter, really. There's nothing I can do. Think about my offer, yeah? I'll leave my business card here with you. If you decide you want to join, give us a call or send an email. You don't have to be alone in this journey ahead of you. There are plenty of us ready and willing to support you. All you have to do is say the word. I should probably get going before the hospital staff kicks me out because you need rest. Think about it and get back to me. Even if you choose to say no. Hmm? My name? <laughs> well, tell you what. I'll tell you what it is when you call. <laughs> yeah, I guess it means you'll have to call. <laughs> Take care. I hope to hear from you soon, whether you say yes or no. Now, get some rest. <laughs> <laughs>